Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. go we're going to talk about Donald Trump winning that's I didn't expect it so we'll see uh, we'll get into that in the uh, in a full Celtic cross so Donald Trump winning what does it mean exactly it's it's a mystery you know Donald Trump is um, coming out smelling like roses you know how is this happening and why are these cards so odd so um, can it be that he's going to be elected and convicted at the same time? I don't know. So um, I just never expected him to be still doing this well with so many people. It's actually kind of scary uh, when I think about it that probably up to half the people around me um, have this, whatever the philosophy he has, they have that too. Really? I don't know. It's 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 disheartening. But Donald Trump anyway. So um we're gonna see how how long can it last. And then um will he win the general election, I guess. Why not ask it? So yeah, how long will it last? This this ring of uh, good luck. I guess he's gonna be the Republican nominee then. And um and will he win the general? Interesting. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment right here of uh, meditation. Okay. So Donald Trump. Okay. So in the short term, we're going to do uh, three cards on that. Uh, is he going to be um, the Republican nominee? I guess he, he, he might as well say that he is right now, correct? I mean, Nikki Haley, uh, unless something happens to him that he's not in the running anymore for some reason. So three cards, is he going to be the Republican uh, nominee? Donald Trump. Is he going to be the one? That's scary. All right, just like I said, just because of what it says about the society around you at the moment. So what we have here is a seven of swords, uh, no, seven of wands. Okay, so wands are action plans, forward movement, seven of wands. It's kind of a um, <clears throat> a confusion, really. It's just too many things to deal with at the same time. Uh, so is he going to be the one? Okay, so there's a lot going on right now that says, you know, this isn't set. But the next card that comes up here is a great big ace of cups. So this tells me that it's going to be all about emotional, uh, emotionality, uh, how he, how, char charisma. Okay. And then the last thing is the two of cups. And this is forming, forming uh, a partnership, almost a love, a partnership. So it looks like, yeah, there's a lot uh, in the beginning that's uh, going to cause problems, but um, they, these people are just charismatically bonded to this guy. Your worst, I think, I'm sorry for saying it, but it seems like whatever your worst um, uh, anything is uh, you, that you wouldn't say it out loud, you can say, oh yeah, that guy did it, so it's okay, I guess. But in the end, there's going to be some sort of a, look, it even says a more down here. So there's going to be a coupling, there's going to be a, an emotional partnership, and it looks like he's going to be the one. But is he going to win the general election? That's, uh, I think, is the bigger question. So, so if he's the Republican nominee, then the next step is, uh, you know, is he going to be president again? And I, I don't know, I guess we could break it down to why wouldn't he be president again, but let's just start right there. Is he going to be president again? We'll do a full uh, Celtic cross. So we'll do um, six cards and then another four. One, two, three, four, five, and then six right there. And then we'll do four more to finish off that Celtic cross in a minute. But uh, is he going to win the general? All the cards. Uh, on this, see what I, we can get told. <clears throat> the Four of Cups, being offered something that you don't quite want. Is he going to win the general election? Huh, interesting. Um, the challenge to that then, look at this, is the Four of uh, Coins, which is holding on, trying to hold on to your value. That's very interesting. Something you don't want, 
but you're kind of interested in, I guess, and then holding on to your value at the same time is a challenge to that. The baseline of all this is the eight of wands, lots and lots and lots of things coming at the same time, lots of issues, is what it, is at the base of this thing as to whether he will, um, God, win the general election. And then in the past of this is the moon card. So these are secrets being revealed. So that by the time we're talking here, everything's out. Okay, everybody knows whether you're for him or against him, you know who he is and you're still for him or still against him. In the sky then is gonna be the seven of wands, which again is a lot of um, issues to deal with. And then the final outcome for this first part about whether he'll be the, uh, look at the, oh, that's interesting though, but this is the justice card and the major arcana is how it finishes off. So somehow it looks like justice is gonna intervene. It's gonna be going kind of his way. And, uh, but then justice will intervene. But now what are the next four cards to finish off this Celtic cross? Um, the very self of that question about him, will he win, is uh, this king of pentacles. Will he win? Because he will be the king of value. He has an em a huge emotional draw in this country. Uh, and then kind of the challenge to that is the six of wands, which is uh, getting yourself out of troubled water. Interesting enough, the hopes and the fears uh, then is here in this um, high priestess. So that's the like the number two, the major kind of the high priestess is you don't you think of her as justice, I do anyway. But then the final outcome for the whole thing as to whether he will be the president is uh, this uh, knave of cups, this uh, page of cups, okay, this very unimportant uh, royal personality who just has this emotional message to say in the end, uh, this is all that's left. I don't think he will be. Um, not to say he won't go down in history. That's what I think. Hang on, I'm going to show you the cards. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot, and this is a um, Los Carabillo uh, deck here. These are gilded, and they're very cool to, um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them it's, you know, run of the mill. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, so it's fine. Now the cards are, you know, regular shape. And, and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them. So that's what's so very nice. I mean, in person, they're really amazing, amazing. And I don't think they show up this well on the camera. Um, but, um, but they're still fun to use. And there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right, or some situations where this is the right thing to use. So I spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are. I've got quite a few decks. And um, what I do actually is I use credit cards that give me uh, uh, cash benefits. And then that's what I use to buy these cards with. So there you go. So if you think you'd like these, Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try.